Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Yes, welcome back to another awesome and amazing video. And welcome back to the channel, to all my bougie divas. Welcome back to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back. You are welcome here. I absolutely love you. We love you. And we are so happy that you are here with us on this bougie diva journey. So thank you so much for joining us today on another video. I'm so excited about this particular video because it is my birthday gift to myself and I'm so excited that I finally 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 have this beauty in my possession okay this is going to be a long long story time you know video but I'm going to get to the point very quickly and we're going to be done with it all right all right bet so y'all see it Oh gosh, it's about it's about her. Mm -hmm. It's about this cutie but sootie but Rudy here. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like this is my baby. This is my baby. This baby. This baby. Period. <laughs> Anyways, okay. And I'm gonna tell you, like I went through so much to to decide to say, okay, yes, I'm gonna pull the trigger and get this bum bag okay you all know this is louis vuitton bum bag okay but it is not the regular bum bag okay and let me let me tell you why it's not the regular bum bag is because this is the louis vuitton my world tour bum bag okay this is a bag that i had to get customized in order to even purchase the bum bag as you may know louis vuitton is like being very stingy with their canvas um items or whatever the case may be and it's really getting to the point where i'm just sick of them i just i'm really sick of them i just want to do like a strike like what's up with y'all why y'all tripping why y'all taking all of the canvases off of the website period like i don't understand that ladies and gentlemen i don't understand that like need to help me but anyways long story short this bum bag here is the original well <clears throat> the original bum bag is roughly $1,700, okay? The original bum bag is $1,700. That's how much you would pay for a bum bag, okay? I didn't pay that for this bum bag. I didn't pay that for this bum bag, okay? Unfortunately, I had to pay $2,321.40 for this bum bag, okay? That's a $600 difference, okay? I was not happy with that. I wasn't happy with it, but this is this this is one of the pieces that is actually on my wish list. One of the items that is on my wish list on the Louis Vuitton website. Um, I wanted to treat myself for my birthday, you know, with this bag here. This this one in particular because this is a very iconic piece that everyone should have in their Louis Vuitton collection. If you are a Louis V lover like myself, okay? If you're a Louis V lover, you know, you should have it in your collection. But, you know, it's okay if you don't because it's a costly, pretty, pretty, pretty costly item. And like I said, it took me a minute to even, you know, you know, let me turn this piano down. You got too much going on over there, you, you know, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> um, yes, so I love this bag. I love her so much. I love her so much. She my baby. She my baby. Anyways, okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so I ordered this bag on July the 30th. July 30th, I ordered this bag and I received her on September the 10th. September the 10th is when I received her, which was all the way after my birthday. Like my birthday was all the 16th or whatever. I thought I would have her long story short. I didn't know that it was a custom made piece that was going to take eight weeks to receive or whatever the case may be, long story short. As you can see, um, it looks like the normal regular bum bag, but um, it's not. 
Okay, anybody that knows the World Tour bags has stickers on them or whatever. Not like sticker stickers, but it's like an embroiled, you know, embroidered type of, you know, sticker um, that's on there that you have to order and put on and have placed somewhere located on the bag. I didn't want it on the front. I didn't they have all these different areas that you could put it on. You can get a custom. You can get um, I had I chose the Vachetta leather. I chose to get the Vachetta leather. Um, you can get the treated leather with the red interior, um, with the with the black um, trimmings and all of that or whatever. I wanted to get the Vachetta leather, which at this point, I wish I would've got the treated black with the red interior because, baby, when I show y'all the boo-boo that I made already with this bag, you're gonna flip out. Like, I am still flipping out. I'm not even resting until I can get this situation resolved or whatever. Long story short, the Vachetta leather, anybody that knows, knows that the Vachetta leather is very hard to, um, you know, you can't take it in the rain. You, you, it's just a lot to it, you know, to, to not damage the Vachetta on the leather, this, that, and the third. So anyways, I had to order the World Tour um, bag and um, I ordered it in um, with the Vachetta leather obviously and then I only have one sticker on here or whatever which is in the back and it says Louis Vuitton because it's you know upside down well backwards you can't really see it but it says Louis Vuitton trunks and bags and it has all of the um, countries that um, that Louis Vuitton is in or whatever the case may be and you know it has every single country on here or whatever or state or whatever you want to call it and that's where it's at right there okay so <clears throat> again i had to purchase the world tour bag just to receive a bum bag and because the bum bag is not even available on the louis vuitton website it is a hard piece to get and everybody know this or whatever and you can go into the pre-love market and try to purchase this and the regular uh bum bag and they're going to try to charge you two thousand dollars three thousand or whatever i've seen some ridiculous prices for the bum bag or whatever uh, but anyways long story short i got it she's with me and all of that good stuff or whatever i'm going to show you what all i I did carry her yesterday for the first time ever, and I made a boo-boo for the first time ever. And I'm so mad at myself because I have, I've had the Apple Guard spray to, you know, to spray on the Vachetta, um, the Vachetta or whatever to protect the, the leather and things of that nature from stains and rain and all. I didn't do it. I didn't. I don't know why, I don't know, I, I had it, whatever. Anyways, long story short, I got a stain on her. A pretty nasty, ugly looking stain to me. So if anyone of y'all know how I can get this stain, I, I've already tried baby wipes that they told me, but I'm thinking I need to get some um, Vachetta cleaner or whatever. But if you know a particular brand that I can use, please drop it in the comments section below because I would certainly want to um, get whatever I need to get to get her clean and, and things of that nature. Um, so here is, um, and when I received this bag, you all, it was not in this condition. Like it was not in this condition. And I think I have, um, I took a before picture or whatever. I mean, when it comes out of the box, it is, you know, distorted or whatever the case may be. And it's still pretty kind of, you know, not a hundred percent, you know, you know, straightened out or whatever but it's okay because I still love her or whatever and things of that nature but this is um what I have it is the bum bag and it has Louis Vuitton Paris hair with the uh, d-ring here um you know you know uh, the craftsmanship on Louis Vuitton items is still not 100% so <clears throat> but it's okay because this is what I wanted and it's what I got. This is what I wanted for my birthday. I mean, you work and save your money for certain things that you want or whatever. So that's what I did. I saved my money and this is what I wanted. So I got her. So this is, so yeah, so this says Louis Vuitton Paris. If, you know, I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but that's what it says here. And then, um, you know, on the back, it has... 
one slip pocket here. I know you've all seen this bag before, you know, a thousand times on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook probably, and on YouTube, okay? So it's the standard bum bag or whatever. Everybody got their own story. And um, yeah, so this is the Vachetta leather and C right here where I made the boo-boo. Let me tell you what happened. I believe that when I, um, after I put on my deodorant or whatever, this might be a little bit too much information, but yeah, I think I touched the bag right here with my finger or whatever after I put the deodorant on and got it stained right there. So if anybody knows how I can, you know, get this stain out, I'll greatly appreciate it or whatever, and it has a Louis Vuitton right here on, it has Louis Vuitton right there. And, you know, I had, I, I wear, wear it on the second one, the second hole there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes on this strap here. And the glazing is perfect. It's so cute, it's so nice, standard, yeah. That's the glazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, also, uh, let's see. Yeah, you have this section over here where you can uh, adjust it and things of that nature. And I have it all the way to the back so that I can wear it crossbody and I wear it like this. So I wear it like that or whatever, or I'll just kind of, you know, wear it kind of down here or whatever the case may be. But I normally, you know, wear it like this or whatever. I'll just wear it in the front like that or whatever. And that is, that right there is bothering me. So, um, anyways, I'm going to show you what all I can fit in this beauty right here. Um, I love it because um, a lot of people, you know, don't like, um, this little lip here because it is kind of hard to get into your bag and things of that nature but um yeah it is hard i'm not gonna front it is very hard to get in you i mean it unzips or whatever let's not you know be you know too drastic about the situation but it will unzip and zip however you know it's not accessible like a lot of accessible but a lot of times when you flip the the lip over the you know the lid over like that i call it a lip or whatever yep it's a lip flip the lip over girl and then you can really get in there you know what i mean you can really now you can get in there or whatever and then you know, butter you know this the zip is really, really butter uh, smooth or whatever and things of that nature so yeah it's easy to get in like that so it has the louis vuitton uh lv you can't see it anyways so it has the lv on here on the front and back there or whatever and then you have the zip compartment here in the back where you can put your phone and things of that nature you can put your phone here it's, you know, pretty deep back there. Nice little deep pocket. See, my hand goes all the way in there. I stretched it out. Like, yeah, it's all the way in there, okay? And, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what I what I have been wearing in this compartment right here. And right now, I just have it, you know, stuffed with my Chanel shop or whatever. Yeah, with my Chanel. Isn't she cute? But, um, yeah, so I cannot wait till the winter comes so I can wear her. This is my Chanel shot, so pretty. Anyways, we're not talking about Chanel today. We're not talking about her. We're talking about this beauty bag right here. Alrighty, so, um, you know that this is coated fabric cow hide leather, man made lining. Anyways, that's what's in here, okay? And then it also has the um, product item number or whatever. This is P. 01127. This is the bum bag MM size, I guess, but this is the real tour personal personalized, you know, bag. And it's you know just a big black hole here. It's very spacious, like it's a lot of space in this particular bag. I mean it, it 
It holds a lot. I love it. I love, 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 love it. And um, yeah, and it has uh, Louis Vuitton made in um, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. So I got a little piece that's made in France. Look at that. Okay. Wonderful. But anywho, boo, I'm going to show you what I can fit in here because, you know, if it's a lot. So I normally, this is things that I normally carry on a daily basis. My mini pochette, okay? Mini pochette goes in there. Let's see. And I'm also going to put my Recto Verso wallet in here. This has my um, cards in here and it has a zipper here as well and then in the front it has um another pocket there and then it also has another little pocket there so this is i love this right here so much and also if you wanted to carry your keys on here let me just show you this you can actually you know it has a um key ring as well or whatever so this is really really convenient like if you want to run into the store and you just don't want to carry like your whole bag or anything you can use this this is the recto verso wallet and um you know it's really really nice it's really nice so pretty and this one does have um the date code in there and it's all the way tucked in the corner right there and it's ar1240 and i have my um little you know gate card there and just a little receipt or something there so i'm gonna put that drop that in here so it fits very nicely then i'm gonna put my six no this is my four ring um key holder from louis vuitton in here and my this is my i call it my coin pouch this is my coin pouch this is um louis vuitton coin pouch or whatever and um this i think they call it a key pouch but i call it a coin pouch because i put all my chains in here so that's going in there this right here is just um a little um uh, pouch well they call this a corn pouch it comes on a pochetta on a multi pochetta um you know with the crossbody and i just normally carry an um my charger here and my um apple ear um plugs or whatever you know with the you know the long thing or whatever so i put that in there but i put this i attach this right here onto this i attach it onto the um zipper pull here along with my apple ear pod or whatever and i normally put that on on here as well so i put that on here and i normally put my um mask my louis vuitton mask in there louis vuitton mask in there and as you can see this baby here is you know still can hold a lot of stuff look 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 and it's still all this space right here is still there all the space is still there. the bum bag is just a lifesaver for a lot of people and i absolutely love it this is why i got it or whatever and i'm gonna put my chanel um lotion there and i do have two phones and normally um one will be in the back and one will be in the front so let's see let's unzip this part back here and then i'll slip this one in the back right here and that's back there not don't even notice it's there you can't even feel it there's so much space back here and again it's still nice and spacious or whatever and it's not heavy at all or whatever the case may be and then i'll normally um carry a pen or whatever this pen you know it's not going to open up hopefully briefly and um pretty much that's it and if i was to you know be rocking some glasses or some shades or whatever the case may be you know you can put put it right here on top and um 
I do have a glasses case or whatever, but I just don't have it in here with me. And then what I'll do is um, you take this side and zip it over because I'm this side is gonna just stay. I'm not gonna even use this side to get in and out. I'll just use this side because I don't want to even mess with this. This is just gonna be there, okay? And then I just actually zip it up like this zip her up like this and sometimes i'll just rock it like with the lip up like this right here or i'll just flip it down and then just rock it like this like so like so just like that you know just absolutely rock it like this like that right here you know isn't it lovely isn't she lovely boom yeah, so that's how I rock her, and sometimes, you know, I haven't really had the opportunity to do different ways of rocking her or whatever, or you can just rock her like this, carry her like this, you know? Just carry her just like that, or whatever, you know? Some people wear it as a fanny pack. I don't think I'll ever wear it as a fanny, because I'm not a fanny kind of girl. Uh, some people do, and that's just their preference or whatever. I don't. Um, so this is a good staple piece to have, you know, for your Louis Vuitton collection. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it so much. And I'm glad I have her in my collection. Yes, so thank you so much, you all, for tuning in. Um, let me know if this is something that, you know, you would purchase or whatever. Um, and again, I do have a comparison coming soon. And if you know me, you know what I mean. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that you can see when I upload my next video. And it may be a comparison on this or maybe a comparison on some other items that I have that I want to do a comparison on for my uh, comparison with my authentic versus the um, non-authentic items. So let me know what items you want to see next on my channel. So again, thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Love y'all. Bye.